In this video, we're gonna give you two disabilities for the price of one. <laughs> Here's a question I've been hearing a lot. How does a blind person communicate with somebody who's deaf? Well, today I'd like to demonstrate a couple of methods and we could show you how it works. Now I'm joined by deaf YouTuber, Ricky Pointer. Yeah, I'm Ricky. I am a YouTuber who is deaf. I make videos about deaf awareness, closed captioning awareness, and then social justice issues uh, with the occasional Pokemon thrown in. And what's the cause of your deafness? It's pretty much genetic. The person who I was born from, she was deaf at the age of three, and then as my hearing loss gradually came about, it just made the most logical sense that it came from her. Huh, just lucky, I guess, right? Oh, so lucky. <laughs> no, 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 really, it's not, it's, not, it's not a bad thing, it's not. The methods we're gonna show you today depend on the severity of somebody's hearing or vision loss. So in my case, for example, I'm blind since birth, so I can't see a thing. So I've been deaf since I was 12, my hearing loss, Really, it goes by decibels, but I, I, I don't know that. So if we went by percentages, this year, the hearing is almost like extinct. But in my left side, it's more of like kind of half there still, somewhere around there. One method is to talk directly to Ricky. Now, because she's got some hearing in her left ear, she might be able to hear me. But can you also read lips too? Oh, not really. Like uh, when it comes to the English language, only 30 to 40 percent of the language can be read on the lips easily and that's only under the best conditions. For me, I can get like the most common phrases like, hi, how are you, stuff like that. But really, I'm mostly like trying to focus on what actual sound is being said rather than like trying to read the lips. For me, I kind of like hope for the best and then try to use both methods at the same time. So another way of communicating is using an interpreter. And if you don't know what an interpreter is, it's somebody who knows sign language. So our friend Andrea over here is going to be interpreting what I say to Tommy, and she's also going to be interpreting what he says to me. For example, Tommy, how do you edit your videos? I don't edit them. Ben does. <laughs> cool. Cool. Now if you don't have an interpreter, another method you could use is tactile signing. Now what that means is I can put my hand on Ricky's hand and say something to her and she can put her hand back on mine and respond to what I say. So for the sake of this video, I just learned a couple of things. So let me try one for you, ready? Here we go. So I said, how are you? And she goes, fine. Pretty cool, right? Right. That was so cute. <laughs> So probably the easiest way of communicating is through technology using a smartphone or a computer. Personally, my favorite app is called Make It Big and all you have to do is you can write messages, press done, the text is really big, and you can also speak into the app and it'll show the words for you. Now for me, there's a thing on the iPhone called VoiceOver and that's basically a screen reader. So I can dictate and it'll say what I've dictated and it will read back what Ricky's written to me. Is this video over yet? Question mark. Inserted. Is this video over yet? Done. Done. I hope so. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey, Ricky, thanks a lot for doing this video with us, man. It was awesome. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. No, no problems. And if you want to go check out Ricky, please subscribe to her channel. It's fascinating stuff. And over on Ricky's channel, we did a collab with her as well. So please check that one out too. The link is right on the screen or in the description. Also, I'd like to thank our interpreter, Andrea, for helping us out. You have a YouTube channel as well. What's on that? Yeah, so on my channel, I talk about spina bifida, which is a birth defect that I have. And I talk about disability rights and intersectional feminism. So you can probably find that in the description if Tommy likes me well enough to put it there. But it's <laughs> there. So do your best. Have fun. That's it. That's all I got. And in case you're wondering, because I do get this a lot in the comments, but she's understanding everything Tommy says. We have this outline here that uh, Ben has written up before I got <laughs> over here. And this is a very important piece of material. So I know what's going on. And even if I don't understand what he's saying, I can get an idea and then we just keep it going, keep it going. I guess you're saying print works too? <laughs> yeah. I also want to thank Abby, who's been with us all day, just making us laugh and keeping us smiling for the whole video. Thanks, Abby. You're welcome. 
little louder. I don't think Ricky heard you. You're welcome. <laughs>